Hi everyone, I'm Sherry with Mature Beauty Studio. I'm a Saint artist and today I thought I would just go through all the different brushes that Saint has to offer. It can be confusing when you first get started trying to figure out which brush to pick and what they all do. So today I'm going to break it down for you. So if you've been matched and gotten your first palette of makeup, you maybe received one brush to get started with. That's usually the best way to get started. And then from there, you maybe wanna add on and put some additional brushes in your arsenal. So today I'm just gonna explain what they all do, and then you can choose and see what's best for you. So I'm gonna start with the first brush that I normally recommend for most people. This is a great kind of a medium, coverage brush. It's called the 3D brush. It's a beautiful two-sided brush. As with all our brushes, they're very high-end quality professional brushes and they're designed for cream makeup and that's why we usually recommend that you get one brush to start with and it makes sense to have something that's designed specifically for this kind of makeup. So the 3D brush you can see has two sides. There's a beautiful domed end and then a fluffy end. So this brush is used to apply your makeup, your cream foundations, the small domed end is perfect for getting into smaller areas, like applying your brightening highlight in the corner of your eyes. And this end is also great for doing contour. The round fluffy end is perfect for blending everything out. So if you're gonna get one brush, this is a great choice for a beginner brush, very versatile. Next brush that a lot of people start with, if they like a little bit more fuller coverage, is the buff brush. This brush has very dense bristles. You can see it's an angled brush. Both sides are angled. One is a little larger, one's a little smaller. And again, smaller end for getting into those small areas, applying contour. And the thing that makes buff brush so good for mature skin is because it's so dense, you can actually press your highlight colors in. So I usually recommend stippling for mature clients. That just means kind of pressing the makeup in and buff brush is perfect for doing that. It's gonna give you a really nice solid application. One of my other favorites, if you're looking for an additional brush to add to your collection, is the detail brush. So look at this end, isn't that amazing? Because it's an oval end and it's made specifically for applying your contour. It fits just perfect right here to push that contour right into the spot it should be going right under your cheekbone or right on your cheekbone. So I always just take the edge of that brush, rub it a little bit in the contour and press it right in there. So it's made perfectly for that. Although a lot of people actually use this brush to do their full face application. And that's what's great about these brushes. They can be used in so many different ways. So the other end of this detail brush has a very small, tiny end. I love using this one for doing detail work, again, under my eyes, the highlighter. Also, if you have spots that you wanna do a little color correction on, I happen to have age spots here and here and I will just put a little bit of my color correction color on there and just dot it. So it's a little bit smaller and perfect for applying that color correction. So this is a great addition for your contour and small work. Another one that a lot of the artists absolutely love, including me, is the blush and bronzer brush. And it's pretty much what, it, what it's named. Blush with the small end, and this is more of a looser brush perfect for doing your blush and the big fluffy end is absolutely beautiful for putting on bronzer or also powder. I like it because if I want to set and use a, a translucent setting powder, maybe a loose powder, I can dip it in, tap it off, and this just gives me a beautiful finish with that big fluffy end. So perfect addition to your collection. Now I want to get into some of the smaller brushes. And these are more for detail work, eyes, and things like that. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the multitasker. Just like it says, it can be used for so many things. Remember when I talked about color correction? If you have very specific spots, for instance, a vein, um, an acne spot, anything that needs a very small end, this is perfect. It has a small, very small end. 
and it has a little bit larger end here, kind of a paddle shape. This one can be, and it's flat, so it can be used for applying your lipstick. The smaller end can be used for lining your lips. It can be used for under eye lining or putting an eyeliner above your eye. Um, this, this brush just comes in so handy for so many things. So again, that one is called the Multitasker. Now I'm gonna move right along to the line brush. If you use any type of eyeliner, you have to have this one. Or if you are filling in your eyebrows, like I am on a daily basis, this one is perfect. What I do with my line brush is put a little of my setting spray in the cap. I dip this angled end. You can see it's got a, just a lovely angled end here. Dip it into the setting spray. Then I dip it into my eyeshadow and I use it for my brows. So I just simply use little hair like strokes and the line brush works perfect for that. The other end is a spoolie. So you can push your brushes up, push your eyebrows up. Also, if you have our brow wax, you can spritz a little of the setting spray into your brow wax, use a spoolie end to just put your brows in the perfect shape. So great, great addition to your collection there. Now, as we get into the eye brushes, obviously the eyeshadow brush, just a very great two-sided eyeshadow brush. One end is the fluffy end. This other end is a little bit smaller domed end. So here's how I use this. If I'm using regular eyeshadow and I just wanna use that fluffy end to kind of brush and blend, this end is perfect. If I wanna get into some more specific areas, if I wanna do that little V in the corner, this end is where I'm gonna go. And I also love to use this for an eyeliner too. If I want a soft, smudgy eyeliner look, I'm gonna dip this in my eyeshadow and just run a nice smudgy line under my eye. Perfect for doing eyeshadows. This is a must if you're using our eyeshadows. Next is a smudge brush. This also can be used for eyeshadows. It's a little bit bigger, bigger brush, a little bit denser. So we have the oval end and a round end. So the way I like to use this brush is once I've put my brightening highlight on my lids as a primer, I will take my smudge brush and dip it into either a very light eyeshadow or our vanilla dust setting powder and cover my entire eye with that. And that sets the cream and just gives me a nice clean base for doing my eyeshadows. This brush is also great if you have any small detail area that you want, want to do color correction. I also love it for doing a nose contour. It's just the perfect shape with this oval end to do a nose contour. So I would take that dip it in my contour, come down the top of my nose on both sides with the contour and then down the center of my nose with my brightening highlight before I kind of smudge it out and soften it. So smudge brush is awesome for, for that particular use. Then I'm gonna show you one other brush that I don't have in our new pretty finish. This is the old finish, which is a little darker. This one is called the powder brush. So if you would order that today, it would obviously come in this lighter, pretty kind of rose gold color. This is wonderful if you do a lot of powder. And also a lot of ladies love applying their whole makeup again with this powder brush. It has a very angled, dense end, and then more of a round end. So that can be used similar to the buff brush where you kind of stamp in and stipple on your foundation. And then this end is perfect for applying powder. So if you wanna press in powder, if you have oily skin and you just need to press that in, perfect tool for that. This is a beautiful brush as well. And this one is called the powder brush. And we do have some bundles with this brush. So please check those out. If you look under bundles, you'll see the powder bundle with this brush and some vanilla dust. And this also comes with a bronzer and a brush in a bundle. So those are great options. So hopefully that was helpful. I wanna show you one other thing that's not technically a brush, but I love it and I use it every single day. This is our perfector sponge. And it's a little bit larger now because it's damp, 
Normally it fits in this little tin. It comes in this little tin and it's a beauty blender, but it's honestly like a marshmallow. It's one of the best beauty blenders I've ever used. And what you do is get this slightly damp, wring it out in a towel, and that's your final step. Once you put your makeup on is just to kind of press everything in and it will take off any excess makeup, give you that beautiful flawless finish. If you want to add some setting spray to this, it will allow your makeup to last all day long. So that's another great step. If you do use powder, you can also dip this in a little translucent setting powder as well and stamp that around. And this little tiny end is perfect for getting your under eye area so you don't get any cakiness there. So that's it, all the same brushes. I love them all. They all serve wonderful purposes. So start your collection. Get one at a time. They are truly worth the money. You get two brushes in one because they're double-ended. And if you have any other questions about our tools, our makeup, please reach out to me. I always love working with you ladies and making suggestions that might help you feel more confident in doing your makeup. Thanks so much for joining me.